Okay, I'm gonna give you a buyer's guide to jeans, jeans that um, I use, all the different brands and just stuff maybe to look out for when you're going to buy them. So I'm only gonna talk about three different brands today. There's a lot of different brands you could choose from. So the first one is Wrangler, and there's a bunch of ones that I think a lot of people use. I use the George Strait collection with the boot cut, and we'll kind of talk about some things, you know, the verbiage that I'm using. I use that a lot just based on kind of where it rides on my waist, you know, how much room there is in my leg. There's a million brand or different types of cuts just in Wrangler alone. So Wrangler's a good brand. Um, we'll come back and kind of talk about some of those things. The next one is Cinch. Cinch is a really great jean brand. Um, they've got a couple um, styles that I use, green label and white label. Once again, I'll explain kind of how they differentiate those. And then the last one is Levi, kind of the original jean brand. Um, their 517 model is the one that I use when I wear Levi. So when you're going to go buy jeans, number one, you're going to have some sticker shock. But think of jeans as an investment. If you take care of them, they should be a tool. You should use them. Don't go cheap on jeans. That's the number one thing I'd probably take from this video. Don't go cheap. But at the same time, don't get taken and spend you know well over 100 bucks on something that you might not need to use um you know that cut your money on for so the first one is wrangler the george straight um slim fit or next slim, slim fit straight fit that i wear works really well kind of you know down you know the size of my legs i personally do not like really tight fitting jeans now the time that where you might want that if me one if that's your style and two if you're wearing shotgun shafts or something where you don't need a lot of extra bulk when you do that maybe think about that but for the most part you're going to need some room when you move your legs up and down and those tighter jeans are not going to allow you to do that um those straight those straight um legs will also give you enough room to you know bend your knees and things like that but the the main thing on that cut is the boot cut which is at the base of of the pant leg itself and if you looked at the taper of those if you took you know a profile of it they should not just taper down narrow they shouldn't necessarily taper down straight they should taper down in almost like bell bottom now if they're too big you'll know that pretty quickly that is a must in western jeans cowboy jeans you need to have something that's going to slide over a boot otherwise you're going to be uncomfortable all day long so wrangler like i said has a bunch of different varieties that's the one that i use highly recommend the next one is cinch so green label and white label there's just a few differences there i'm not an expert on cinch but um the thing i like about their jeans they're certainly tough just like wranglers are the green labels kind of ride a little bit higher and so maybe they would you know even if it's loose you know in the thigh they might call that a straight fit or something like that but Definitely, depending on you know your build, decide where you want your jeans to ride. Do you want them to ride kind of above your hips, right at your hips? I'd recommend not too far below your hips, but try on a different you know different pair, different label, whatever. But green and white and cinch is kind of what I use. Once again, those are cowboy cut jeans. They're if anything straight, maybe a little bit belled at the bottom. And then the last one is Levi. Levi is a really, really, really great jean brand. Honestly, they're just a little bit more expensive sometimes, and so. I'm not saying I have sticker shock, but sometimes I'll go to different branches because I'm not willing to spend, you know, 65, 70 bucks on a pair of jeans. Sometimes you can find them lower. Once again, that's kind of a moderate waist on that kind of straight legs and then a little bit of a boot cut. Now, I found that unless you spend, you know, excessive amounts of money. And so like you go from like the normal brand style and shape and you get one that maybe has a different wash on it. And by wash, I mean how it's faded on the leg. You're not going to get dramatic boot cuts. You're going to get very moderate boot cuts. So if you're buying the same jean over and over, just different brands, and you're not getting a big enough bell, maybe look into more of the stylized jeans. Those, um, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just kind of not my style. But if you're always struggling to keep your your pant over your boot, do that. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about a little bit is um, how what size to buy. So one, just know your waist size. Make sure it's comfortable. Don't try to wear something that's not going to be comfortable, but the length. Now, this is where, you know, Western or cowboy cut jeans are different. Most jeans, you just kind of want them to cover your leg and come down on your shoe a little bit. If you're going to ride, you need to have your pant leg at least two inches lower than normal. That way, when you sit on your horse, do whatever, your, your pant is actually going to stack on your boot. Um, and you can go to the extreme. You can get four inches longer. So normally... I wear a 34 leg, okay, just if I was just going to buy jeans. But because of these, you know, what I'm going to do in them, ride horses, do whatever, I order a 36, period. I don't go any shorter than a 36. And that'll, I mean, some of that is certainly a style situation, but a lot of it is function too. You don't want your pant 
wanting to work up because eventually it'll just come up over the top of your boot and then your leg will be rubbing on your saddle. So there is function, certainly there's style on there. I'm just gonna grab a pair of boots just to show you what I'm talking about. A pair of Doc Martens here. If, if your boot is sitting, and I don't know if I can show this very well, uh, like this and your pants are always like this, this jean is going to always work up and just come off. What you want is something that's gonna fit over, so not only a good boot cut, but you want this to stack. And stack should look like folds down on your boot. So you don't want it just to barely make it, you want to make it and have extra left over, leaving the pant wanting to stay down. So that's kind of how that works. So those are just my opinions. Do whatever, number one, that is most comfortable comfortable for you. And then two, you know, what's going to fit your needs. If you're going to be cowboying a lot and doing stuff, you know, spend some good money on good jeans, but make sure they fit good. They function well. And that's kind of the three brands that I use and really like. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.